Welcome to Behind the Blaze with the baseball edition here. We've got Coach Jones with us today. Hello, hello Coach Jones. Hello, Coach Vetter. And then we have a senior pitcher, Nick Trigg, with us. Hello, Nick. What's up? Okay, we'll keep going there. And then we have sophomore pitcher, middle infielder, all right, guy that can do it all with great hair, Mitchell Cunningham. What's up, Coach? We're doing all right today. All right, guys, let's get this started here. So, uh... How's the weather outside? Uh, it's raining pretty bad. Mitchell? Uh, pretty raining bad and uh, it's a lot. It was really cold. Okay. All right. Two things we don't want in baseball, rain and cold weather. All right. So we brought Coach Jones in here today because he's coached you. And uh, Coach Jones, tell us about these young men. Well, I've had the, uh, the honor of coaching Nick uh, all the way back to middle school. So I've seen him all the way up through his senior year. And Mitchell, I coached on the JV squad last year. And looking forward to seeing them continue on their journey. All right, so we have a young man here that just come up from JV. Uh, was going to flip-flop back and forth this year, but because of injuries. And I'd like to hope that he's playing well, that he's, he's secured a spot on varsity for us here. Uh, Nick, a senior, throws strikes, goes after it. All right. Uh, Nick, let's start with you there, buddy. Uh, future plans there. Where would you like to go to college? Uh, so college, I'm still figuring it out. Uh, I might go to, like, UTC and play some club ball there. I might go maybe to some small NAIA schools. I'm not sure yet. Just still looking at all my options. All right, good. Well, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Options are always good there. And, Mitchell, you're too young to think about college. Let's just get through high school first. So, all right, guys, since we got guys that have come up through the ranks with Coach Jones, uh, explain to Coach Jones here. Uh, Nick, we'll start with you here. Uh, explain to us uh, the biggest difference between playing on JV and on varsity at the high school baseball level. Uh, it's just a little bit more intense. There's a little bit more nerves with it because it's more serious. Because uh, in JV, you're still trying to mature as a baseball player and still trying to work up to varsity. On varsity, you got to be ready to go at all times. All right. And Mitchell, since this is your first year on varsity, have you enjoyed the experience so far? Uh, yeah, I have. I feel like uh, JV is more like a learning and getting better and more like knowing the game. And like varsity, I would say, is like really serious and – is a big difference for me, I would all say. Right, all right. And Coach Jones runs our JV program, does a great job, and, and, and is teaching these young men how to play. Uh, Coach, what's, what, what do you see there in the development uh, at the JV level? Well, what I see here is a lot of fundamental work. We're also trying to make an adjustment for a lot of the freshmen coming from the middle school level. And you see that speed of the game has changed. It is getting faster, decision-making is quicker, and we're just trying to work on the fundamentals and try to get them to understand how to play the game of baseball uh, from the high school uh, perspective and not just going out and just hitting and throwing. We want them to understand the game and develop so that we can get them ready to compete at the highest level at the varsity level. All right, sounds good there, guys. Uh, yeah, and, we, and we're trying to get that. Nick, I agree with you 100%. On, on, on varsity, varsity is about winning, and, and, and we've got to develop, and, and but we want to win. On JV, there's a little less emphasis on winning because it's about development. We can have a kid stay on JV for two years, really develop, bring him up his junior year, and he can have two great years on varsity. Um, but... It's more about development, I think, on JV. But, you know, we want to be competitive. I, I think in today's world, uh, with with as many games as you play in the summer and fall baseball and kids are playing year-round sports now, that we lose a, bl a little bit of competitiveness, you know, because, oh, well, that's okay. I didn't win today. We play again tomorrow. So uh, I, I'll ask y'all's opinion here. Uh, what's your biggest difference there that you see between – playing travel baseball versus playing high school baseball go nick um travel baseball like you said we play every day i mean every weekend we're in another another state another city so it's always we're always moving in high school baseball we play four out of the seven days so we get a little bit less games 
So, and it's more important to win in high school baseball than it is travel baseball. Because in travel baseball, if you lose the first two games and then win to the next three, you still might win the tournament. But in high school baseball, if you lose four district games, it might be the difference between second place or first place. True. Mitchell, what about you? Uh, like Nick said, uh, high school baseball is about winning, and travel baseball, you're just there to play. Like, it's very individual. You're just there to throw hard, hit as, hit as hard as you can. And, uh, that, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Coach Jones, what do you see there when we get our freshmen here? Uh, what do you see as one of the, the biggest things that we have to correct at the JV level and get them to understand? I think one of the biggest things we see when they come in as freshmen is their fundamentals, just overall basic, simple things that we see um, very clearly. But to them, it's something that has to be developed. And so we have to – get them in a habit of getting into these fundamentals that will transpire that over into the field. So I think just basic fundamentals, we just have to, to really hammer those in and get those bad habits um, out of them and get them working on the good habits. All right, sounds good there. Nick, let's go back to you here. We'll start. Uh, favorite thing about playing high school baseball for us? Favorite things probably got to be the, the teammates, the camaraderie, especially in, like, the locker room, stuff like that. I mean, it's always, like, fun, even if we're not doing as hot. You know, sometimes it's still it, – we got the sad moments, but it's just all the teammates, it's a lot of fun. All right. Mitchell so far, you know, two years in now, buddy. But still, what's your favorite thing about playing high school baseball here at Blackman? Uh, like Nick said, the teammates and being in the locker room is really fun. And, um I just like being around those guys. They just have a lot of fun. Yeah, and I think you guys will see. You're going to make lifelong friendships, you know, and, and, and some guys will move away and you'll lose touch a little bit. But in 10 years, Nick, you'll come back to your 10-year reunion, and the first thing you're going to do is go flock into those guys, and y'all going to get together and, and talk about something that Coach Jones did in middle school, and then you'll talk about something that Coach Jones did in high school, and then you'll go from there. But you'll remember those guys forever. So, all right, Coach Jones, let's get you involved here now, buddy, all right, because I know you're an Oakland A's fan. So, yeah. favorite Oakland A's ball player of all time? That would be Mark McGuire. Okay, we'll move on from that then. <laughs> no, that's a good answer. See, I have to go further back. I have to go back to the 72, 73 A's, Raleigh Fingers, Catfish Hunter, names well, that, that these well, young men have never heard. Well, that's because you're just a little bit older than I am. Yes, when you're older than dirt, then uh, you 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 are able to go f further back. So, Nick, favorite baseball player in Major League Baseball, whether he's playing or not, probably got to be right now. Probably got to be Shohei. I mean, he just got MVP for the WBC. I mean, he's just he's crushing it. Not seen a guy pitch and hit like he has. I mean, it's insane to watch. Most likely, you'd have to go, and I, I even watched the last two innings last night when we got home, and uh, they compared him, I think, to Babe Ruth, you know, which eh, may be a little early for that comparison, but I will say this. The guy is, is phenomenal. He's he's an, he's a, just a freak of nature, you know, somebody that can throw it, field it, hit it, and do it all, uh, and he doesn't look like the way he moves like he's – actually the most athletic guy he's not the fastest guy or not the strongest guy I mean you, f you see the game last night he, he strikes out Trout to end the game Trout is a physical specimen you know but uh you know just because you look good doesn't mean you play good so Mitchell favorite uh Major League Baseball player right now uh, I would have to say Trey Turner I just like watching him play and I think he's a really good ball player now, are you saying that because he hit the home run the other night and that was all over the internet, or are you just really like this guy? No, I really like him, but I was glad to see him hit all those home runs. All right, all right. So, uh, it's, Nick, favorite favorite Major League Baseball team? Oh, probably got to be the Yankees. I've just grown up, and Dad loved the Yankees. Like, we just always grown up a Yankees fan. Uh, we always like to buy those big guys that – look good, and then they turn out not so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The complete opposite of Coach Jones' A's, a, exactly. a small market team, 
you know, but consistently puts a good product out there. They'll have a bad year once in a while, you know, but right. but they I think the bad thing about being an A's fan is the fact that they they develop their young guys much like high school. Like J V to varsity, they develop those guys and then when they become really good, they go off and and are either traded or they don't re sign because being a small market team, Oakland can't pay them. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, all right, Mitchell, favorite uh, favorite team? Uh, my favorite team is the Cubs. I've been a Cubs fan for a long time, and I just gotta stay true to them, even though they're not doing too great. That's all right. It it it, it does go up and down. Your big market team should be good every year, but every now and again, it's always great to watch a small market. Coach Jones' favorite uh, Major League Baseball moment with your A's? Well, that would be. The uh, 1988 World Series, Game 3, bottom of the ninth, Mark McGuire hits a home run to win it. The series did not go our way, but I remember staying up and watching that with my mom in the living room. So Uh, that's my greatest baseball memory. And and so now that we've mentioned that, I've I've got to get you on this one because I know the answer. Uh, Favorite or least favorite baseball moment there with the A's. That would be game one of the 1988 World Series in the bottom of the ninth when some person named Kurt Gibson, I think, hits a home run to beat us. All right, guys. Yeah, I knew that answer was going. Guys, thanks a lot for being here today. Uh, look, we, we, you know, you're good kids. You're good ball players. Uh, we're developing. We got a tough start to the season, but we expect great things. And, and remember, Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And so it's not how we're starting. It's going to be how we finish. So we still, you know, are learning. We'll get to April. We'll get our district games in. uh, And hopefully we'll be on top of the district. We'll get that region berth. So thanks for being here, guys. And go Blaze. Go Blaze. See you, Coach. Go Blaze. See you, Coach.